This is Kevin G. Hall, national economics correspondent for McClatchy Newspapers. Michael McClanahan is the fifth generation to head the machinery manufacturing factory bearing his family name. It was founded in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania in 1835. It posted its best year ever last year and its hiring. That's in part because McClanahan, the chairman of the board, positioned the company during the 1990s to aggressively export machinery used by the mining, farm, and timber sectors. The privately held company has more than 70 product lines and its 334 employees enjoy generous health and retirement benefits. McClanahan is actively trying to fill six more positions for engineers. He doesn't buy the view that American manufacturing is dead or dying. Another reason for McClanahan's boom is the demand for sand used in domestic natural gas drilling in a process called fracking. Well, in uh, the sand and gravel business, uh, there's a part of it that is used for frac sand, and we have had a very strong amount of business in frac sand production the last two or three years. We expect that to continue for the next two or three more years until they reach a point where they have adequate supplies. Right now they don't have enough uh, crack sand to do all of the drilling that they would like to do. McClanahan admits that changes to health care laws and tax policy both remain risks to his bottom line, but news of the death of manufacturing, he cautions, is greatly exaggerated.